Most of us boomers grew up hearing endless lectures from our elders. And we had to fake listening to them. There was no talking back. There was no arguing. Respecting those in authority was a super high cultural value. And so was corporal punishment. If the teacher punished us, we usually received a second helping of that discipline when we got home. In our childhood, we were almost always assumed guilty until proven innocent. And being proven innocent usually came too late, after we had already received a few whacks. And what boomer could ever forget a favorite mantra of our childhood? Children should be seen and not heard. <laughs> We couldn't wait until we became elders. And we got all that respect and authority that came with old age. Only to see the rules radically change when we became older. Age no longer earns respect. In the eyes of our young, respect has to be earned. And the metrics they use to give that respect are different than they were in our bygone era. We don't get to dish out our advice just because we feel like it. Our children and grandkids feel free to, to roll their eyes and to say, okay, boomer. They feel free to tune out lectures, retreat into mobile devices mid-conversation, shut the door to their bedroom, leave the home, or walk off the job. Today, one out of four millennials and Gen Z adults have cut off all contact with parents. Now, you can plow ahead and lecture Gen Zs, but it will probably be your last chance to make your point. A wiser approach is to listen to them. Listen when they seem to make no sense to you. Listen when they say things that infuriate you. Listen to their angry rants. Listen even when you think they're being disrespectful. Let them know with your eyes and your body language that you care about what they say, even if you don't like the way they're saying it. Play back to them what you heard them say, so that they can know that you've heard them. Allow them to correct you if you played it back differently than what they were trying to say. Good communication is a dialogue, and dialogue is a two-way street. Jesus was a listener. He not only listened with his ears, he also listened with his eyes. Matthew 9.36 says, when he saw the multitudes, when he saw the multitudes, he was moved with compassion for them because they were distressed and scattered as sheep without a shepherd. Jesus saw beneath the surface and he listened to the heart cries that were behind the spoken words. He was never quick to talk. He might wink and say, no one ever learned anything while talking. So learn to listen, Boomer. Then when you share, you might actually speak to the real issues that trouble the hearts of the Gen Z's you love most. And when you do open your mouth, don't lecture. Instead, use speech that keeps dialogue going. Okay, now that we've covered the number one mistake boomers make, that is to lecture instead of listen, let's go to the next video and see the next one in our countdown of mistakes we should never make with Gen Z's.